During what has been the longest spring break that I've ever taken in the history of my life, we went out to Lockhart and uh, spent some time at the original Black's Barbecue. It's been in business for a number of years and always wanted to go and uh, check it out. I've been to Kreitz back in 2019 and definitely wanted to try Blacks and see what they had to offer. And uh, as you enter the front of the business, you can see open eight days a week, 10 a.m. And uh, our flag, USA, there we go. We are about to walk in. We're excited about getting in here and seeing what they have to offer. And as you can see, they kind of have a cafeteria set up. Um, where it looks like it's pretty much self-serve. I think, if I remember correctly, we did serve ourselves and uh, grab some uh, potato salad. And there's cobbler there. There's some corn, uh, some green beans, I believe, some pinto beans, a few other things uh, that were there. Even got some banana pudding from uh, Blacks there in Lockhart. So great stuff. But you know, as you move along and you go to a place to go and eat uh, some of the barbecue you're going to be in line to go to that cutting board and as you can see they've got a menu with some beef brisket the giant beef ribs and I can vouch for that they were giant chopped beef uh, they also had some great sausage uh, pork ribs and uh, here we can see a live piece of uh, some of the stuff that we were getting that day did get some turkey some of their own sausage there and some great uh, brisket and uh, chicken as well so it was a great day for barbecue and uh, really enjoy seeing the old school setup and uh, not everything at Black's is old school there are some uh, sections in the back that have been remodeled which you'll see coming up here in a little bit but a uh, great place to go and there's everything on the board you can just see all the moisture coming off of that brisket and also that huge beef rib that's just hanging out there on the board chicken in the background as well as some uh, sausage so again um, as we're looking towards this uh, huge beef rib this is something that i really really enjoyed and it's something that if it's available at a barbecue place it will be just about on the top of my list i like to pretty much learn about a place by the way that they cook their briskets but beef rib is just one of those guilty pleasures that I like to enjoy and uh, here we have the meat platter that we got we grabbed our sides with our plates but the meat platter that was set up is just a mound of uh, meats including the uh, pork ribs sausage brisket turkey and that uh, like I said gigantic beef rib that was there uh, love 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 beef ribs and can't get enough of that so uh, great bark on the brisket and on the beef ribs and uh, also just love that that pork chicken is great too and uh, love those little sides that they had to offer and plenty of room to sit at blacks and even in the current environment that we have because of the almost cavernous <laughs> amount of space that they have there uh, it would be pretty simple to social distance from people in fact it, we were kind of in that same situation when we went there and there was no issue there was nobody within six feet of us in fact not even within 10 feet of that of of where we were sitting so it was great nice and easy there's these pork ribs look at that smoke ring great great day still using uh, the brick pits out at uh, Black's along with some, I believe they have some metal in them as well. Um, and here you see that back room at Black's that was an add-on. Um, the brick is very similar on that, lots of woodwork. And uh, as you can see, oldest in Texas of the same family, five generations of the Black's have run this uh, barbecue joint and uh, love that. And you know, it's a testament to uh, what family can do for such a long time and make something go. And obviously with uh, Lockhart being uh, at the center of the barbecue map for so many years before things really uh, kind of went up to Austin, Lockhart was that barbecue and sausage uh, capital. And so lots of folks always talk about that. In fact, even years ago, before I got into barbecue, had an old gentleman tell me, he said, hey man, I'm going to pick up some of that Lockhart sausage. And be honest I was a young kid I had no idea what he was even talking about but 
now I'm just glad that I have an opportunity to taste some of the great barbecue that I uh, found in Lockhart at Black's and also at Kreitz. And the next time I go, I'll try some of the other places. But Black's Barbecue was established in 1932. And so this is the uh, continuously owned uh, barbecue joint that they have here. And uh, this is their dining room with a lot of Texas accents, bullhorns, the uh, shape of the state of Texas, barbed wire, um, deer uh, heads and other stuff, the local football teams, and uh, here's that pit up front. This is their serving pit, and it's got the metal lids on it with uh, all of the meats just there hanging out, ready to be served, and you can see kind of in the back where they've got everything there, and uh, lots of folks working there. A nice guy was uh, cutting our meat for us. I believe that was manual, if I'm not mistaken, and if you need to go to the little boy's room, little girl's room, this is exactly where you need to go. Um, so you can see those funny sayings there. Men to the left because women are always right. Uh, Lockhart is an old sign. Barbecue and sausage capital of Texas since 1932. Had a great visit that day and uh, really missed being on the road and seeing all the great things that are going on. And uh, thank you so much for following and for appreciating uh, the videos that um, I make and for all the great things that uh, are going on. Uh, be on the lookout. We're going to start putting out some more videos again very shortly, taking some trips on the weekends to go and see what's new out in barbecue, uh, barbecue land and Texas barbecue land specifically for right now. But uh, enjoy. Enjoy the video and uh, please like and subscribe to this channel. I sure appreciate everybody who has already and look forward to seeing more of you. Thank you so much.